Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on the overview of the Casio FX92B. The FX92B is a recent calculator which incorporates some features similar to that of the Casio ClassWiz. It appears to be available in France, in fact the FX92 is a French version where the decals and buttons are written in French rather than in English. Uh, the 92B has uh, English descriptions on each of the buttons there. This is just going to be a brief overview of some of the features of this calculator. If we have a look at the menu first, we can see that we've got the calculate menu, statistics and table mode. In the equation menu, we just have one function here for solving simultaneous equations, uh, that is linear simultaneous uh, equations. And there's two more modes available as well. There's also the verify mode, which is actually absent from the class whiz, and the ratio mode, which is a relatively new mode. It's slightly different, a slightly different setup from the class whiz. It actually shows the ratios as equivalent fractions there. So actually very good for converting and practicing, changing between equivalent fractions and simplified forms. Um, so it, it is quite good for that purpose. And this calculator also is very good for simplifying uh, fractions in a different way. It actually has a simplifying feature. Uh, you can see it highlighted by the simp button here. Now if I wanted to simplify the fraction 25 over 30, the calculator should do that automatically for me by pressing equals, and here we have the simplified version 5.6. Now what's unique about this calculator is you can actually turn the simplification off. Uh, so if you go to the setup menu and down to simplify, the default mode is for it to be set on auto, but you can press 2 and set it to manual. And this time when you press equals, it will actually just repeat your uh, unsimplified fraction back to you with a little arrow which indicates that that fraction can be simplified. And then you can use the simplification feature to simplify it for you, plus also tell you the factor by which both the top and bottom were divided by. So in this case, we can see that the factor is 5, uh, which means top and bottom have been divided by the highest common factor of 5 to give you the simplified fraction 5, 6. So I think that's quite useful to be able to take people through the simplification process, especially if you're a little bit younger and maybe new to simplifying fractions. That's quite a useful demonstrative feature uh, of this particular calculator. In addition, this calculator also has the greatest common denominator and least common multiple as well. Now I'm going to find the greatest common multiple here of 56 and 88. I'm going to input 56 first. Now at first I was trying to use this using the comma, which on other versions of calculators is what you need to put between your two numbers. But in fact what you need to input is the semicolon, which is accessed by shift and three, and then input your second number, in this case 88. And if you press equals here you have the highest common factor of 8. Let's do similar with a least common multiple or lowest common multiple. This time I'm looking for the lowest common multiple of 15 and 52 and again you want to have the semicolon in between your two figures. Press equals and here we have the solution 780, the lowest common multiple of those two numbers. The setup menu also features a digit separator and if you switch that on uh, what that will do is if you input a number which is has greater than uh, four digits, uh, so for example 5000, it will actually separate the digits every three. Uh, so in this case it will separate the five from the three zeros. Let's just try that again with uh, 1,250,000 and again you can see that there's two separators there uh, featured every ten to the three digits on there. So there we go, another slightly different feature uh, with the uh, 92B. Additionally, if we just go to the setup menu and have a look at the language functions, we can see that it's not just English, but this is also uh, available in French and Netherlands, or so presume that's Dutch. Uh, so we can see where this particular calculator might be available and right where it might be uh, most commonly sold. So in those countries, and as I mentioned before, uh, there is a French version of this calculator where all the buttons and decals are in a French language uh, to allow any French students to use that um, more easily. So there we go, a very brief look at the Casio FX92B. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.